Hi, and welcome to In the Studio with GMAC, where we answer your questions about products and services from the Graduate Management Admission Council. I'm Sabrina White, Director of Market Development Americas at GMAC. Today's topic is validity, and with me is Ashok Sarafi, Vice President of the GMAT program. Welcome back to In the Studio, Ashok. Thanks for having me again, Sabrina. My pleasure. Now, Ashok, schools are very eager to know more about IR and validity. So um, when will IR be a part of validity studies? You know, we've been huge advocates for validity studies. We've conducted more than 350 validity studies over the years for individual schools to show that the GMAT remains a very good predictor of academic performance in the core courses of an MBA or another management program. For IR, we've already conducted faculty surveys to show that we are measuring the skills that are needed to succeed in a graduate management program. We call this content validity. Additionally, we've conducted some pilot studies to show that the item types or the question formats that we are uh, introducing on this section actually measure those skills. We call that construct validity. What we need now is to conduct predictive validity studies with truly motivated test takers. We'll have that when schools are ready to submit data for this year's cohort. What we'd like to encourage schools to do is to advise applicants, prospective applicants, to take the IR exam seriously, because doing so will actually give them much, a much better uh, picture of validity. Okay, so, so it seems that it might take an additional year or so before we're able to conduct a predictive validity study. Is that, that is right? correct. Okay. Are there any tools that we can provide schools in the interim? Well, here's some data that we can share with them. We've always maintained that the IR score is an additional data point with which schools can differentiate amongst applicants. Here's a chart that actually shows the distribution of IR scores for those people who took the exam between June 5th and October 1st of 2012 and scored between 660 and 680. You'll notice that for schools who might be looking at making admissions decisions about candidates within this marginal total score range, the IR score actually helps schools further filter candidates. Additionally, you'll notice that some test takers who had a higher total score, say 680, scored lower on the IR than those with a lower total score, say 660, suggesting that to the extent that IR measures skills that are considered important in a graduate management program, that perhaps schools should pay more scrutiny to the IR scores before admitting an applicant. What I'd encourage schools to do is take a look at other total score ranges, say between 620 and 640, between 560 and 580, and see how the IR score varies for that group of candidates, and use that as a basis for making admissions decisions. Thank you, Ashok. I think this information will be quite helpful uh, to our viewers. I sure hope so. Thank you for taking time to join us for In the Studio with GMAC. We invite you to watch our next show, where we'll address IR score reporting. If you'd like us to answer your question on this program in the future, drop us a line at gmac.com slash in the studio. I'm Sabrina White of the Graduate Management Admission Council. Have a great day.